Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. And today we're going to talk about the problem with running 14 gauge wire in a residential setting. Now overall, 14 gauge wire, there's no problem with running it. As long as it lands on the proper breaker in the proper way, you can use it for your general lighting and receptacles. You say, why do we need 12 gauge wire at all then? Well, there are five 20 amp required circuits in a home at a minimum. This includes the two kitchen circuits, the laundry circuit, the bathroom circuit, and the garage circuit. So at a minimum, you're going to see yellow Romex run to those locations. But a lot of guys and gals, they like to run 14 gauge to the receptacles and 14 gauge to the lighting. And some only do lighting. They run 14 gauge only to lighting and smoke detector circuits. And fundamentally, there's not a problem with this at all. And I don't know if you know this, but you can actually run your refrigerator as long as it's dedicated on a 14 amp circuit or another specific piece of equipment or a 14 gauge 15 amp circuit. You uh, could also run another specific piece of equipment on that 14 gauge wire 15 amp circuit. Not a problem at all. And I have no problem with it fundamentally. Where we run into the problem with 14 gauge wire and you say, coach, we don't do this. Well, a lot of people do. So listen up. And if you do this, if you like to use 14 gauge wire, I've got no problem with it. We use 12 on everything just to simplify things. But if you want to use 14, just follow this one simple step and there'll be no problem. What the problem is, is that people will go and they will run, you know, 12 gauge receptacles and they're like, oh, well, I run 12 gauge receptacles. It doesn't matter. You can run 14 gauge. That's fine. So let's say you ran 12 gauge receptacles and you want to run 14 gauge lighting. Well, the problem is, is that they will run a 12 gauge home run. And you say, well, why is that a problem? Because back at the panel, when the trim out crew comes, they're likely going to put it on a 20 amp breaker. You say, well, coach, we don't do that. We've got a system that if there's, uh, if it says lighting on it, then you're going to put it on a, on a 15 amp breaker. I'm fine. I'm cool with that. But what about when somebody puts in a replacement breaker? What about when somebody comes and does a panel change? I promise you if there's 12 gauge wire on a panel change, I'm putting it on a 20 amp breaker. You say, well, it's not that big a deal. It's just five amps. Well, let's talk about it for just a second. You have a 14 gauge wire. You have uh, you have a 15 amp breaker or you have a 15 amp device, a 15 amp receptacle, 15 amp switch. You've got 15 amp wire and then you load it up with 18 amps. Maybe no problem, right? You know, you load it up with 18 amps because you've slapped it on a 20 amp breaker back at the panel. But what about at 20 amps? Are we going to start to see some problems? You've got a 15 amp receptacle, 15 amp switch, 15 amp components. You've got a 15 amp wire and you load it up with 20 amps. You say, well, maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't know. What about loading it up with 21 amps, 22 amps? I bet you could get a 20 amp breaker to run almost indefinitely on 22 amps. And there are trip thresholds, and I've made a video about it in the past. We're not going to get into it today. But the whole point is, is that when that when that 12 gauge home run gets landed on that 20 amp breaker, either now or later, it will happen. We start to load that circuit up far beyond its capacity. Then we have a homeowner come in and splice it, and they add on a little compressor or something. And we have a homeowner come in and add a whole other side to their house. I know you've never seen that, where somebody builds an addition and just taps onto whatever circuit's nearby and wires the entire thing with it. And then we've got this circuit that's extremely overloaded. It'll hold 20 amps indefinitely, likely will hold 22 amps indefinitely, and we have all 15 amp components inside of it. That's really the only problem with running 14 gauge wire. And if you want to run 14 gauge wire, I've got no problem with it. Just run a 14 gauge home run. Run a four, If you're doing the smoke detector circuit, do it 14 gauge all the way back to the panel. If you're doing a, a lighting circuit or a hallway circuit or a receptacle circuit, it really doesn't matter. Code lets you put 14 gauge wire on the general receptacles. Perfectly fine. Just make sure that you're running a 14 gauge home run. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you, and you will in turn add value to others. If there's anything that you need from me, you can always just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.